What's up guys? So I am excited to bring you this boat tour today. Now, a lot of you guys really liked that 53 foot Choi Lee that I toured recently. And I actually got a good amount of requests to tour a Choi Lee 63 as well. Basically the 63 is very similar to the 53, but Obviously it's bigger and the impressiveness is just turned up to 11. So luckily there was a very nice 63 that was available to tour up on Lake Michigan. However, right now my plate is a little bit full down here in Marathon and I just couldn't make the trip. So I enlisted a little bit of help on this one and had a good friend of ours that was already up in the area film it for me. That good friend is Kirk, who you guys might recognize from the YouTube channel Sailing Solianus. So I hope you guys enjoy and without further ado, let's get to the tour. tender and chalks on the deck. Two 20 volt windlass here. Three anchors up on the bow. This is the third. One over each side. We've got a stay sail catch rig on this boat. So you can see we've got the foremast and the aft mast there. Both foresails are furling. Single spreader on the aft. Radar up there. Really nice whisker pull. This boat has in mast furling for both sails. They are electric. Beautiful teak decks, really nice, flat, wide, open bow here. Even with the tender on the deck, there's plenty of room to move around. Plenty of hatches for ventilation down below, all with canvas covers. This boat has beautiful bright work, all covered up. Nicely with canvas. Huge cleats, midship, and on the bow. Really nice, high, full stainless safety rails all the way aft. Windows to the pilot house here, and huge windows along the cabin. So we're moving aft now, past the pilot house. Here we've got the all-weather greenhouse aft settee the davits out the back big four stroke honda outboard
moving up to the bridge deck. Excellent visibility forward. The great all around view from the bridge deck here. Got a main chart plotter here, all the engine controls, twin engines, bow thruster, radio. Remote autopilot control. You got your control lines for the mainsail here. This is the furling main sheet, traveler, all accessible within reach. Looking aft at the mizzen mast, again with the roller furling, electric in mast unit. Under the bridge deck, Lots of storage. I call this the garage here. So moving over to the port side, looking forward. Excellent handholds as you move down the boat at the waist height and up higher. All right, we're moving into the pilot house now. We got main engine controls, everything on display up here. Radio easily accessible overhead your main instruments and another big chart plotter beautiful finish on the wood everywhere inside this boat got kind of a secondary chart table over here. The owner says they use this as their kind of main chart table. There's handholds everywhere down below. All this beautiful wood. Storage is everywhere. So now we're going down to the main Salon and galley area. The huge open living area in here. You've got a large residential style fridge and freezer. Microwave above a gas stove, electric oven. Double sink. an ice maker down below. A little espresso machine over there in the corner for the coffee lovers. And just look at this space. Just amazing interior space. And beautiful wood finishes everywhere. Got pantries for food storage. Everywhere you turn. It's 
storage behind the settee backs here that goes all the way out to the hull on the outer side of the boat under the decks. Same with over here. This is now looking aft. Handholds everywhere for safety. Going down below. Now we're heading forward. Here's the mast, just to give you an idea of where we are on the boat. To starboard, we have a full standing shower. And head. Continuing on the starboard side, we have a double bunk up top, the single down below. Again, plenty of storage, the hanging locker there. Heading over to port, there's a large airy double bunk in a Pullman berth style with a separate head here. These are electric units. Tons of storage under the bed, accessible via drawer here. Very nice. Continuing forward, we have another double bunk. Up in the bow. Tons of light in this boat everywhere. There's big overhead hatch here. And just aft of that forward bunk is a third head. This is a manual with a uh, shower. Got deck prisms throughout the boat, which is a nice touch here. Now heading aft, back up into the main salon area. It's up into the pilot house. And now we are going down into the aft cabin. This is a huge full width aft cabin with a center bed here. Again, lots of light. Tons of storage everywhere. We have his and her hanging lockers here. Nice touch, the light turns on automatically. more storage to port and the fourth head again an electric unit with a massive separate shower just look at this woodwork everything is beautiful So heading forward again, off the port, is a utility room. 
with a separate freezer. A full washer and dryer. A nice workbench area. The wash basin. Over here, forward, we've got the main 220 electric panel. And running forward, the main engine room. We've got, looks like the house bank to port here. Everything labeled nicely. You got a water maker up there to starboard. Generator. The two main engines here. This is a Secondary generator. Fuel tank on both sides. Very nice, clean, spacious engine room here. PPE is a nice touch. And we're heading back again into the utility room. All right, so we're standing in the very forward berth here. We're gonna do a bow to stern real quick. Here we go.
All right, guys, so obviously this was a bit of a collaboration here. Kirk did film the tour, but I did edit the footage. So although I wasn't at the boat, I did get a really good look at basically every aspect of this boat as I edited this video for you guys. So I think that I can say with confidence that in my opinion, this boat is extremely close to perfect if you're looking for a big motor sailor like this. It just it has everything. I mean, multiple cabins, multiple heads, space for a lot of people aboard. It has obviously that protected pilot house, you know, it's got twin engines. My personal favorite part of the boat was the utility room and the engine room, which you can tell are just absolutely massive. They're big steps up from the 53. In this boat, you truly have, you know, a place that you can wash clothes, a place that you can work on projects, and easy access to all of the equipment on the boat. You've got two diesel drive engines and two diesel generators. You also have those massive fiberglass diesel tanks. So, you know, for a motor sailor, I think that this boat is just absolutely amazing. It's actually catch rigged, which I actually prefer over a sloop rig because it gives you more options for your sail plan. And from what I've read, both the 53 and the 63 are really good sailboats as well. Even though they're motor sailors, they also sail really well, which I personally think is very important. So I hope you guys enjoyed that tour. That was the Choi Lee 63. Obviously, it's an amazing boat. Both the 53 and the 63 are both absolutely amazing, but the 63, as I said earlier in this video, just turns that up to 11. I really hope you enjoyed this one, and the current asking price, as well as the broker contact information, will be in the description below, as always. Also, down there, I'm gonna put a link to Sailing Solianus. That's Kirk's, Lauren's, and Renata's YouTube channel. They've got an awesome channel. They're good friends. I highly recommend you go check them out if you haven't already. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and put a link to the Choi Lee 53 tour that I did a little while ago if you guys are curious in wanting to see the little sister to this boat and haven't seen that one already. But anyway guys, that's going to be it for this one. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell if you want to know each and every time we drop a video. See you guys. I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come see